Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch report. Why is night so horribly, like, misspelled? A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. Safely arrested? But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. <gasps> oh no. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Naoto is on TV. Oh, his uniform is the same as yours. Yeah, we were chit-chatting with him and getting drunk the other day, so... But you don't need to know that until you're older. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. Don't do it. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death. But when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Okay. Oh? Like what? Why are you announcing this on TV? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time. But this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, the Detective Prince's true identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... Were... There's a detective at your school? Yeah, he's this kid that's younger than me. When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school too. Well, I don't think you have a choice since you live in this area. The breezy evening passes. Well then. <gasps> here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I like the new camera angles. Hi, Senpai. Hey, Rize. Wow, everybody's here. Yo. Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Takun was on. Yeah, that makes me very worried. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But we'll be the silent heroes that nobody knows about, so that's fine. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. He's not. Good morning. Hey, Naoto. So you got colors. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Okay. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Don't tell me he's not coming to school anymore. Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? Okay. What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. Yes. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. Except for Moroko. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Yes. I plead the fifth. Yeah, we did. Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? Yes. There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa, 
all of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourself. Don't tell me he suspects us being the killer. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? You can't be serious! He is a detective, so he's gotta, like, suspect everything. This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this <coughs> moment, I believe exactly the opposite. That we're victims. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Yeah. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. Okay. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. Really? But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Okay. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. He put himself to test his theory about the media and everything. He put himself in danger. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. But it's not a game. No token? He put his life in our hands. Who's up? Hey, about time. Yeah, you gotta practice today, right? Well, I should say let's take it easy, but someone would nag me about it. See ya. Maybe you should show up for soccer. Since you haven't for the past three, four months. Huh, my attendance with soccer is shit. Class is ended for today. Naoto didn't come to school. Shit. Well, obviously he's gonna be the next victim. This is gonna suck. Alrighty. Let's do this. Hi. Yo, Mugen, going to practice? Yes, I will, since I haven't attended soccer practice in forever. Wait. Wasn't this just- I don't have a strength. I gotta collect me some personas. I guess I don't have to have personas, but... Help. Nintendo Soccer Practice. Diligence! I have to do the class record today, so don't wait up for me. It's okay, I'll wait. You sure? Eh. Later. No, man, really, I'll see you later. What's up with him? Hmm? What's up with the cold shoulder? Dasuke can be such a damn rebel. Oh well, I guess it makes it easier. I need to talk to you. Tell you what, we'll talk over Mapo Rice, my treat. Sounds good. Really? Great, heck, I'll get you a large. Okay. All right, let's go. To the Chinese diner. Chinese diner, away! Central Shopping District, Chinese diner, Aya. 
You probably guessed this, but it's about Dasuke. I have a man crush on him. Ko speaks with a serious expression. You've noticed he, him slacking off at practice a lot lately, right? He never used to do that kind of stuff. Before, he would have died for any chance to play soccer. You practically had to pry the ball away from him, even off the field. But now he's half-assing everything. I don't get it. Maybe he just doesn't think, of, think playing hard is cool anymore. He took it seriously when he was helping you train though, right? He really wanted you to get good enough for the team to accept you. Don't get me wrong, I don't think he was faking it or anything. But I wonder if part of that was him trying to make you do the things he feels he can't anymore. He's fooling himself. <sighs> just pisses me off to watch him do this. Just, just ask him out already. How did he get like this? You know, his new attitude towards girls is pretty sudden too. He used to talk about girls like any normal guy would. You think it could be relate? You think it could be related? Huh. What are you talking about? Could be. Hmm. You think so too? He can be a little blunt sometimes, but he's a nice guy. He seem he's been acting so cold towards girls though. Like he's saying stuff that he doesn't really mean. I'm only I'm telling you this because I trust you. What? Ko begins to speak slowly. See, Dasuke had a girlfriend back in middle school. But from what he told me, they never even held hands. Then she broke up with him. She made a big scene. She was all like, You don't even like me, do you? I heard she even slapped him. Ever since then, he's been saying stuff like, I don't know what it means to like someone. <sighs> At the rate he's going, he's going to die an old hermit. What do you think? Um... I, where's the option that says, why don't you go ask him out, Ko? Seriously. Uh, we've got a problem. It's Daisuke's problem. It's Daisuke's. Technically, it's Daisuke's problem. We've got a problem. You're right. Yeah, I think so too. Whoa. I just had a great idea. I'm a genius. I'm gonna ask him out. Just do it. <laughs> You're with me on this, right? You're gonna help him? Count me out. Count me in. Alright. Now we're talking. No, I will not ask him out. Ko is ecstatic. By worrying about Dasuke with Ko, you feel your bonds have strengthened. God. Level 7, Jesus. He's reached level 7. Power to create personas are awesome. Strength, that's it. I'll set everything up. Make sure you wear some... What? Okay, bad image just flashed through my mind. I know that's not where they're gonna go. I hope that's not where they're gonna go. But a very bad image just flashed through my mind. <sighs> you pass the time with rather vulgar conversation. I'm telling you, Ko, go ask him out. Dojima! It's going to rain tomorrow. I was going to do laundry. Well, then, that has been adventurous. Alright, guys, I'm going to take a quick little break. And then I'm going to start up another session. Because to tell you the truth, I cannot stop playing this right now.
Seriously. Seriously, I just cannot stop. I gotta, I gotta go. I want to see what happens. And especially now that Naoto is going to be next. So, and this is going to be freaking awesome. So, and hopefully this two hour session just recorded, right? Hope so. So, alrighty. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Because I'm going to start up another session. So, I am Lady Rainasaro. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.